I am playing some Magic the Gathering, the new season for Dominaria United, I think is what it's called. And I am playing an updated mono red aggro deck. I'm going to keep this hand. It looks really good, actually. Hopefully, we can get one more land. If we can, we're rolling. If not, we've got plenty of chances to get one more land because we've got three two or two twos we can play. So hopefully in the next couple of turns we draw another land so that we can get all the way up to Reckless Storm Seeker. If not, on turn three we can play one of these two, probably Bloodthirsty Adversary and Voldaren Epicure. I am still on the aggressive decks hype train. I will let you know I did purchase a lot of cards. I think I spent, I think I, I bought the pre-order -bu bundle thing for like 40 or 50 bucks, however much it was. I don't remember for sure. And then I also bought like 90 packs, I think. So I think, I think it was like 140 or something like that packs total, somewhere around there. Uh, maybe less, maybe more, maybe less. So that's how many packs I bought, plus however many packs I could buy with the gold I've earned so far. So I probably have bought about 150 packs total. For this set because i want to be able to play more than a couple decks this time i'm gonna play rada's firebrand because getting a counter on it is really nice because it can stop a creature with less power than it from blocking which is really really good we really like that this is a new card that is probably going to be in a lot of aggro decks it's in this deck it's in my gruel aggro deck which is red green if a new boros red white deck comes out it'll probably be in that as well any aggressive deck that plays red this card will probably be in it because it can shut down a blocker which is really good plus you can buff it i mean if, if it does go late game and this is still on the board somehow for six mana um actually it's less than that you can give it a plus two plus two so it can become pretty powerful it can make so anything with five power or less unable to block once you get that domain effect going this person is taking a lot of time to do everything for some reason i have a feeling okay well that sucks he just killed that right off the bat so that's cool we still did not draw land so we're gonna go ahead and play bloodthirsty adversary two haste creatures on the board hit him for four which is not bad I was hoping we would draw a land so that we could play Reckless Storm Seeker or Squee. I'm happy playing either one. I have a feeling this guy is going to be playing the card that board wipes me, so I need to be a little bit careful about over committing to the board. So I might not play Reckless Storm Seeker until I have to, to like start giving things haste. Okay, so this is just some kind of control deck that's just sitting here trying to kill everything I play. Okay. <clears throat> I can kill that with a play with fire. So I'll probably play Voldaren. And then I will play with fire that card because lifelink is really, really bad. We don't want to deal with lifelink. Lifelink is a good way for him to stall by either blocking or attacking every turn. So we don't want him to be able to stall us too long. I haven't pushed as much damage as I would have liked to have at this point. I still have a lightning strike, so I can still kill another card if I want to. But honestly, if he wants to trade this for either of these, I'm okay with that trade. It really sucks that I haven't drawn another land. But, you know, this is part of magic. Is playing with this horrible mana system. This horrible, outdated, awful land system. I will co probably complain about it in almost every video. This guy is just taking absolutely forever to make any decisions. You have two mana left, man. There's only so much you can do. Okay, cool. Choose a card name. Activated abilities of sources with the chosen name can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Okay. So he's... What? He picked Chandra Dress to kill. Nice. That's pretty smart. Um, I still didn't draw land. I'm going to play the Firebrand. I'm only going to attack with this guy this turn. If he wants to trade it, I'm cool with that. If not, next turn I'll be able to stop that from blocking. Or I'll be able to kill it. It's. I really wish this would have been a land, but you know. This is just how mana is in this game. <clears throat> it can literally just stop you from winning. As card name enters the battlefield, look at an opponent's hand and choose any card name. 
So he gets to look at my whole hand, huh? <clears throat> and he gets to make my cards cost more. Wow. That is uh, an annoying card. Hope he doesn't pick Lightning Strike, because I kind of want to kill it. What do you pick? Rodus Firebrand. Rodus Firebrand isn't in my hand. What? You got an opponent's hand, then choose... Oh, and then you get to choose a card name. Okay. Well, that's stupid. I'm just going to kill it, so... Bye. No idea why you wouldn't choose Lightning Strike, but okay. Bum, bum, bum. Might have something to stop this from happening. I'm not sure. I hope not. Please hit him in the face. Please hit him in the face. Please hit him in the face. What does that do? Nice! He killed Radus Fire Room. Cool. This is going to be a hard game to win if I can't draw another land! Thank you. Appreciate it a lot, actually. Grief. How hard was that? Okay. I can win next turn, even if he board wipes me. I think that is fine. He's going to get some... Oh, wait, what? This is my city, and I'm going to protect it. I still win. Pretty sure. Even if you borrow times an important card, I still win. Good game. It's over, because I have this. Unless he can do something. Okay. Cool, good win for the mono red aggro deck. If you guys are wanting to play this deck list, the link will be down below. If you enjoyed me playing that and commentate on it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thank you.